Caleb, I have loved you for eight years and today we are making it official that I get to love you for all of the rest of them. As a little girl, I always dreamed of what this day would look like and it's exactly what I pictured. Even at just 16 years old, I knew. I knew that it was you that I wanted to be standing up here with. I always knew. I wish I could go back and tell my younger self that all the things that brought us together were not just coincidences. There are no coincidences in life. Every step brought us to this moment right now. The way that our lives have beautifully intertwined with our family and friends is indescribable. Together we have hit so many of life's milestones and I can't wait to reach the rest of them. Growing up with you has been the greatest honor. And now, I promise to keep growing with you. I promise to love you throughout all of life's stages and be willing to face challenges together. I promise to love you with all that I have in the only way I know how, completely and forever. Thank you for always being you. It's all I've ever needed. I love you. Honey, I love you like the real thing With your wrinkles and your scars You don't have to hide them To be honest with you, everybody's like, oh, when I met my best friend, they had this characteristic that was amazing. Um, yeah, we rode the bus together. That was our thing, so. But growing up with Haley, I have learned that she was the funniest, most loyal, kind-hearted, sweet, confident, and detail-oriented, as you can tell by everything here, person. Welcome and thank you for being here at this celebration of their love for one another. They have asked each of you to witness and celebrate this public declaration of a private commitment that they have already made to one another. Eight years ago, they started their lives journey together. During this time, they have shared many life experiences. They graduated high school, went to college, started their careers, and bought a home that they now have turned into a home. The couple has chosen to write their own vows. It was Caleb's idea. Caleb and Kaylee, you have come to be made husband and wife. Will you face each other and read the vows that you have prepared for each other? I, Caleb, stand here ready to take you, Kaylee, to be my wife, my best friend, my lifelong partner. When we first met junior year, it didn't take long for us to realize we had found somebody special. With our time in high school, our current lives, and to our future, we are going to continually grow more in love with each other. I am grateful that we were able to find each other eight years ago and grow into the people we are today. Today we start a new count in the best possible way. I promise to give you the best future as I can as our life changes and we develop new life roles. I love you whether we are rich or poor, healthy or sick, young or old. I pledge to hold these promises dear to my heart for the rest of my life. You know, being able to help Caleb get to land his first year was fun and all, but for me, it wasn't the best part of the hunting trip. The best part was the conversations we had by the bonfire all night, just talking about life and joking and drinking like we've done in our entire lives. I'm fortunate that I was able to find someone like Caleb to share those kinds of memories with. May your marriage always bring glory to God, joy to one another, and blessings to your family and for many generations to come. May love and laughter fill your hearts and your home for all the days of your lives. May you face every challenge hand in hand and side by side, knowing that with God's grace, you'll conquer all obstacles together. May the world be forever a better place because of the two of you fell in love. In Jesus' name, amen. Yep, wait, wait two seconds. Okay. Hey, how you doing, honey? Hey, look at you. I'm good. Oh my gosh. Wow. You look beautiful, hon. Oh my lord. <laughs>
You have come before all of your favorite people and expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You have made promises of love and commitment to one another and sealed them with rings. So by the power vested in me by the state of Missouri, I now pronounce that your husband and wife. May your lives be filled with endless joy and laughter. Caleb, you may kiss your bride.